I come to McDonald's on occasion because it's quick and easy when I need to eat fast. Because, um, it's between where my meeting was and where my car is parked, if I'm completely honest. So it's convenience. Yeah, you get your money's worth. It's not the best food in the world, but it's inexpensive. Quality food and, and convenient and, uh, and reasonably priced. The difference between big business and small business would be basically where your revenue goes to. Small business, your overall revenue is staying within the community for local business owners. For a big business like McDonald's, I pay for the Big Mac meal, but it's going to a large corporation. Uh, the tax revenue stays in your community, that's one. Yeah. Kind of helps your community. Um, on the other hand, if you go to McDonald's, if you're like 70% of the U.S., you own a 401k, and you probably own McDonald's stock. So, kind of helping your community, you're helping the country. Well, it's, it's really important to have small businesses. Uh, they bring a lot of value because they bring the diversity, you know, different type of food we have right across the street. The BBC, you know, a steakhouse type of place, and we have, you know, all kinds of different restaurants in Menlo Park. So it's good to have a mix. You see them every day, driving past without a second glance. Large corporations, you recognize them, know them, see them on television, shop at them every day. Two million large corporations exist in the city of California. Now take, take a look, look at these independently owned businesses. How many of them can you say you visited? Ten minutes from now, you will realize that there are many more reasons to shop locally. The Foster's Freeze, I believe, first opened around the 1940s, and ever since has remained the same. We haven't changed anything about the store. Last train home. Because we know the customers very well, we always talk to them, they always like to talk to us. So we feel like they come here not only for the ice cream and burgers and everything, but also to talk a little bit with us to see how we're doing and we check up to see how they're doing. This restaurant is all about loyal customers. We have some customers that come here every day for the same stuff. So. We're very happy that we have a lot of loyal customers. I started working here in 1985 when it was Anderson's video. And in 1998, I started to wonder if, because I'd worked here for so long, that if they ever wanted to sell this place, I hope they would ask me if I would want to buy it. And they did. So in 1998, I bought it and changed the name to the movie group. We keep our customers coming back by just being ourselves. Everybody I hire here is take, they take tests. Everybody here has to know movies. Um, I hire people who like to discover new movies and then throw that onto somebody else and get their experience from that when they're watching it. So we like to open people's eyes to a whole new world of movies that they probably never even would have heard of. Most of our customers come in and just ask you, what should I watch tonight? So it's really, it's, it's, it's fun and it's rewarding to give someone a movie and just, here, just take it, just watch it. And then when they come back, they're either, they throw it at you, or they ask you, what were you thinking? And they're like, wow, this was amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's what I have fun doing all day long. So actually, I leave a pile of movies right here for this is for when so-and-so comes in, and this is for when so-and-so comes in. And when so-and-so comes in, I'm going to show him this one. And so I've got them lined up kind of much already. And this is, this is Martin. <laughs> you should see it. We really love Redwood City. Um, we, we believe in buying local, um, our particular family. And I think that in order to keep the big corporate interests at bay, we really need to support our local uh, business people. It's very important. Uh, I think that it, of course, keeps the money in the, in the local area. Um, I think it gives employment to locals. Uh, and it's, it's, I, I believe in supporting small business because I think that they are more, they can be more innovative than, than chain stores. 
I have sort of an aversion to chain stores. I don't like to go there uh, because it's sort of a faceless corporation. But every store is the same and there's no individuality to it. Um, and they seem, uh, it just seems cold to me. And also they, they have dictates. They have banned some films in the past. And I really believe in the First Amendment. I mean, let me, I'm an adult. Let me make a choice of what I want to see or what I don't want to see. Do not tell me what I can or cannot see. And Blockbuster has in the past blocked some films. Uh, the, uh, there was a, a movie about Christ that they blocked. And I, I think that's onerous. And a big corporation can do that. A small place will not do that because they understand the impact it has on their people. No, I don't think I'd ever shop at Blockbuster. I'd use Netflix or I'd use something else, but I don't think I'd go to, to Blockbuster, no. About four years ago, when VHS started to die, I kept thinking, what am I gonna do with that room over there? What am I gonna do with this space? And I noticed everyone always came in with coffee. And I liked coffee, and I thought, I, wonder if I should learn how to make coffee. But I didn't just want to do espresso like everybody else, because. Well, back then we were going to do espresso too, but over the last year, everyone had, there's espresso everywhere on every corner. So I thought, let's just do coffee. Let's just do it right. So. So my typical day at the grind is I get here around 6.15 and open up. We usually don't have any customers until about 7, 7.30ish. Um, we're pretty steady all day with customers. Um, it's not super busy yet. Not a lot of people know about us still. Well, I feel like working here, we have a better connection with our customers because our boss really likes the customer service. He wants us to engage with the customers. And right now, since we're not that busy, I feel like we have more time to get to know our customers. And while we're doing the hand drip coffee, it takes about two minutes. So you have a two minute gap to talk to the people. So um, I feel like at Starbucks, it's very fast paced, bam, 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 20 people in line, you gotta get in and get out. But here, we can engage with the customers and get to know them. They're more like friends after a while than people who come and buy coffee. So it's really nice having a good relationship with them. Because it helps mom and pop businesses, you know, I mean, Walmart and Starbucks are taking over. You know, pretty soon that's all there's gonna be. I mean, you can't really compete with them anymore. It's getting really hard, so I think everybody should support it because you're going to get the same thing after a while. This place is unique. Have you guys ever seen any place like this before? Oh, see? And that's what's great about it, but unfortunately, people are looking for fast and cheap. I believe in supporting small business. We believe in buying local. Yeah, support, you know, support local business. Because I think that they are more, they can be more innovative than, than chain stores. And I think that in order to keep the big corporate interests at bay, we really need to support our local uh, business people.